So now that we know what we should be looking for with the actual photograph, we're going to show you how to do it on the actual Chromebook itself. There are two ways that you can get to the camera. If you look at your keyboard, there's a key on the left side of your keyboard that looks like a magnifying glass. You also will be able to access the launcher through the bottom menu bar over here on the left. You want to go up to the box and you want to type in camera. Once I have the artwork ready to go, I want to set it up. Now, if you notice, this picture is vertical, but it doesn't really fill the screen. So I'm going to turn it on its side for now so that I have the ability to use that space as best as possible. I'm also going to make sure that I have the right angle. So the plane of my artwork is parallel to the plane of the computer. I'm going to try to crop out the spiral part of the notebook, but if I don't get it all, I can always crop it out when I go to edit it. Once I get it in the right spot, there are two places that I can take the actual photograph. I can take it with the actual photograph button here, or I can hit the enter key. I want to make sure I don't have a trapezoid like we just talked about. And I want to try to get my fingers out of there as much as I can. Now that we've taken the photograph, we now need to edit the actual image that we've taken. So we have to go back to our launcher and instead of camera this time, we're gonna type in files. Click on the files icon. When you take a photograph, it automatically goes into your downloads. So I'm gonna find my files and you'll see the download folder right here. I'm gonna double click on that. And you'll notice that I have the picture that I want right here. I'm gonna double click to open it up. Right now what I'm looking at is the unedited version. So I want to edit it. I want to go ahead and hit this pencil up here. If you remember when we were talking about the uh, artwork, I went horizontal so that I could maximize my space. But when I take my photograph and I want to submit it, I want to submit it like I want it to be seen. So I'm going to use the rotate button and I'm going to rotate to the left so that it stands up straight. Now you'll notice that I did kind of get a trapezoid here, but I have the ability to fix it. I'm going to use the cropping tool. Because I had extra space outside of my actual useful part of the drawing, I still have the ability to show the image that I want to show without losing anything. Notice that I'm pulling the corners. I can either pull the sides in and out or I can go from the corner. So I'm going to make sure my right side's on. My left side, the top is as far as it can go. And there we go, and I've cropped my little part of my finger out. So now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and click the crop button and that will crop it. When I look at the image, I have good lighting, there's no shadows, I don't have any area around it that I ha have left there that distracts us from the picture. So I'm really happy with the way that I did this. The last thing I wanna do is you guys are going to end up with a lot of digital files in your drive, so you're not really going to be able to ever find this if you don't name it something specific. IMG 2020902 has no meaning to you. So I'm going to go ahead and name it my name, and then I'm going to name it the actual name of my piece or the name of the assignment, whatever you prefer. And when I click out of that, it's automatically going to save as that name. And everything is set, so I'm going to go ahead and exit.